Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be doing a Q&A video which is so exciting. I've been wanting to do one of these videos for so long now and you guys have been so gracious on Instagram to give me some wonderful questions and so yeah, let's just get straight into this video but before we do, please subscribe and hit that notification bell and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and so yeah, here we go. Okay guys, so I'm using my iPhone to film so I wrote all the questions down in this little cute notebook thing and um so yeah let's just get started so the first question that i'm gonna come to um i got asked when did you start singing and playing guitar and so this is quite a story i started singing when i was five years old and i've been playing guitar ever since i was 12. and so i don't know how singing ever came to be because neither of my parents sang growing up none of my siblings sing and really no one in my family even plays an instrument. Like we're not a musical family at all. And so um, at age five, I think just by random, my dad saw that I picked up on lyrics and um, I was just good at memorizing songs. And so I guess he was like, he just, I don't know. We just tried it one time and it worked. I don't really remember. I don't, I don't, I've never really asked him why, but, um, my dad and I, it was something that we kind of started together and he would, we would sit down and practice the songs together and we would go through the lyrics and, um, then it just kind of went from there and, uh, around age 12, um, a lady that came on our building projects that my dad, um, coordinates, she was playing guitar and I remember just listening and being so like captured in the music like I don't know what it was but she noticed it as well and uh approached my parents about getting me a guitar and um teaching me basically and so she did and here we are today <laughs> so many years later and so it's just been a really beautiful thing that God has opened up in my life and um I'm so, so, so thankful for it. It is a wonderful hobby. It's a wonderful outlet for me. It's kind of, it's just great all around. The next question I have is, where would you like to be in five years? And so this is a very wide question. I don't know if this is meaning like career wise. Where would I like to be in five years? Shooting for the stars. I would like to be the author of a book. I'm actually working on something like that right now, um, writing a devotional or a book. I just kinda kinda gotta see where it goes. Um, I would love to have a CD or have an album, whatever. And I would love to be graduated from college. I'm going to I'm going to be a um Christian counselor. And so yeah, I've graduated from college, have a couple things with the music and writing um, headed in the right direction and honestly I'm open to anything whatever the Lord puts in front of me um I am okay with that I don't really have like a set like I have to be here I have to be here I would love to see YouTube grow um if that is in the plan but other than that yeah that's just kind of what I've got in mind for the next five years okay so the next question I got is how many kids do I want and this one Honestly, how many ever the Lord sees fit to give me, obviously, but then um, number-wise, probably anywhere from four to six. I'm totally up for fostering or adopting because I think that is a great um, ministry, but um, of my own, I really don't, I don't really care. I mean, any, no more than probably six. That's, I don't think I could handle any more than that. And so the next question that I have is, do I get nervous when I sing in front of others? And yes. Um, I always have gotten nervous before I sing in front of others and I probably will continue to always be nervous before I sing in front of other people and I think that's okay. It's okay to be nervous. You have to manage it because if you let it eat at you, then it will affect the way that you play or you sing, but um, you have to learn how to manage it and how to put it in like a folder in your mind where it's okay to be nervous but it's not okay to let it hinder your confidence in yourself. And so, um, yeah, that's just kind of how I manage my nervousness. 
The next kind of like two questions go together. What is my favorite place that I've ever traveled and where do I want to travel next the most? And so my favorite place that I've ever traveled is Washington State or probably Arizona. Um, and the, where, the next question was where would I like to travel the most like next? And honestly, my bucket list is Africa or Indonesia. I've always wanted to go to those two places. And so probably the most widely asked questions are the next ones. It is everything about college. So my plans after college, my plans for college, my classes, the school that I'm going to, my major, all of that. So I'm gonna try to hit everything just kind of in one big snapshot. I am gonna go be a Christian counselor, like I mentioned earlier. And um, I am going to a private Baptist school near my town. And so I, the previous classes that I just finished is algebra, college algebra, English 111, and um, mass communications. And so I'm taking dual credit classes for the remaining of my senior year, just kind of getting ahead. And then my plans after college would be just to start um, my own business, my own counseling business. And yeah, that's basically it. I've not really thought much about after college because it's like four years down the road. The next question I have is, where are all the places that I've been? And so um, I've been to 39 or 40 of the 50 states. Um, and I've been out of the country once. I love traveling. If you can't tell, I just, I think it's so cool and it's such a blessing that I've gotten to do it all of my growing up. And the next question is really a good one. How do I manage my social life, school, and being a missionary's kid? And so this is, it's it seems a lot more difficult than it is, honestly. Um, social life and being a missionary's kid kind of goes hand in hand because m my friends live all around the USA. And I'm not saying that to be bragging, I'm just stating the facts like I have friends in Washington State and in Florida and in Texas and in Oklahoma and in Kentucky and in Tennessee and Georgia and like those are just to name a couple so when we travel as a missionary and when I travel as a missionary's kid it really gives me the opportunity to see them a lot more than I would if I stay home and so I do have friends here at home but the vast majority are scattered across the USA and even in foreign countries that kind of answers that part of it. But then the next little part of it was how do I manage school with traveling and having a social life? And you have to really get a hang of, hang on to a balance and figure out what's important and how to manage your time, which is a constant struggle. I'm not perfect at it in any way, shape or form, but um, you have to learn how to like, if you have a bad day and you just can't seem to get it do school or stay focused it's okay to take a break but you just may have to hit it at a time that's not normal so like if we're traveling and we're spending five six seven eight hours in the car whenever we get to the place that we're going to that means if I can't study in the car then I'm gonna have to sit down at the camper after we've traveled and then do it so you just kind of have to pick your battles and pick when you want to do it and when you think it will be most effective to do school the next questions I have are Starbucks or Dunkin' and Starbucks all the way. I don't say that because it's a trend or every other girl in USA loves Starbucks. It's more of something that my mom and I have done together since I was like eight or nine years old. We always go get Starbucks coffee together and that's just kind of when we have like our girl talk, like catch up thing, I don't know. And so it's kind of something that my mom and I do together and it's really special. And then the next one I have is Old Testament or New Testament. And honestly, it depends on what you're going for because if you want to read the Old Testament, it's kind of more like prophecy and validation of the coming Christ, kind of like proving that this is the Messiah. And the New Testament is more like what is to come and what is we, we as Christians need to be doing to further the gospel and what is coming rapture-wise and after the rapture. And so the next question is my biggest fear. And so let's see, spiders reptiles. I hate sharks. I hate sharks. I mean, like I like the ocean, but I would much rather a lake. I would rather deal with ginormous catfish than a shark. I just cannot handle that. Um, how would I describe my style is the next question that I got asked. And this is really funny because 
I live on 14 acres with a creek and with woods and we have friends that own land all around us and so my family is very much an outdoorsy family. We love bonfires and four-wheelers and hunting and having chickens and cats and a dog and we have neighbors that have baby sheep that we help with. So normally I'm in muck boots, a sweatshirt and sweatpants or jeans. Um, but then also I love anything like flowy and I love cute boots, like not cowgirl, bur <laughs> not cowgirl boots necessarily, but like snakeskin boots or, um, oh gosh, what else? Honestly, I guess you could put my entire style in the boho category if that is what you're looking for. I can be a tom girl, but I can also get dressed up when I want to, so. What is my favorite song currently and what is my favorite artist? My favorite artist right now is probably in the Christian genre is Leanna Crawford. It's, she's very new and she's very um, young in the Christian industry music world but her writing style and her um, singing is very similar to mine. So I feel like I can connect with her in that way. And so I love her. And then my favorite song currently in the Christian genre is probably Run to the Father, um, Fragile Heart, which is by Leanna Crawford. And so, yeah, that's just kind of those. What are my pet peeves? I hate footsies. And it's not because I think feet are gross. I just don't particularly like them. I don't like other people's feet touching mine like I don't want to look at feet I don't even want to look at my own feet like it's nothing against the person or even against me I just don't like feet at all well, yeah I think I answered all those questions that you guys have asked um and so thank you so much for watching please subscribe before you leave and I will see you next time bye